Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix GPU crash dump triggered error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, then click on exit and then launch Steam once again and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and then open nebula folder binaries win64 make a double click over here launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file select properties and go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game from here make a double click if that does not work go to properties once again this time select over here windows 8 put a check over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file and the anti cheat for uh, exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security now click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so open the game folder so in my case the location is here so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps open nebula binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then go back again back again back open easy anti-cheat folder select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app and then click on browse and then go back again back again back easy anti-cheat and then select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to delete the config folder when you delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost now for this you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder open nebula folder saved folder here you can see the config folder make a right click and then you can delete this folder so click on delete and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here 
by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for, for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the exe file click on add once the game is added now click on the game select high performance over here again click on add desktop app this one is the an open nebula binary is win64 this is the real exe file click on add now find the game in the list click on the game select high performance over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. This is important. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your computer, select your model number and then find the BIOS, update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% when you update the system BIOS and the AC adapter is connected during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game this has worked for few players so it might work for you next step is to try power saver mode now over here type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to system uh, hardware and sound and then power options over here if you see power saver in my case I have only balanced but if you have power saver you can select power saver and then 
launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this, empty it, follow the next step. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ 5. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio files. So you have to download this x86 and x64. So download both the files, x86, run the CXE file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once both install, then a restart. You can be a restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI afterburner, river tuner, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, go to game, make a right click, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay application. Like if you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Go to Nvidia app, turn off Nvidia app overlay in Nvidia app settings. Or you can simply close all the, close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to, if nothing is working, you can uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.